I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Boston Tea Party. I come right here in the center. Let's do three fingers and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a pretty good sized circle. I take two fingers on the right and I put another dot and now I'm going to draw another circle. I take two fingers towards the left, put another dot, and I'm going to draw another circle. I come right back in here to the middle and I'm going to draw a curve line down on the left, curve line down on the right. Right here in the center I draw a slightly wavy line at the top, come back to the left part and we're just going to draw a wavy line down, over, wavy line up, and connect. Inside we're going to follow those lines, mimic the line, to show some motion. I come back over to the left and I draw a curved line down, out, and connect. Now I can come back to the left and collect, connect that line. I jump over and I draw another curved line over, connect, and I come inside and I draw one, two little curved lines. I come inside this space and I draw curved line, straight line, little curve line on the right, little curve line on the left, dot, dot, curve line across the top, little curve line out in on the right, little curve line out in on the left. Right here in the center I go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag up on the left, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag up on the right. In the middle just draw a curved line down, connect. I come over to this circle and I'm going to draw a curved line inside, circle inside, and I'm just going to color that in black so I don't forget. I'm going to put dot, dot, curve line out, in on the right, curve line out, in on the left. Now I draw a curve line down on the left, leave it floating, curve line down on the right, leave it floating. Come right here at this point and draw a straight diagonal out, straight diagonal out on the bottom, curve line over, curve line connect. Right underneath I'm going to draw a flat oval and I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zigzags and put a little baby circle at the tip of each one if you can. I come back up to the top and I'm just going to draw a little curve line across the top, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag going up on the left, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag going up on the right. In the center draw a slightly curved line. Come over here on the left point and we're just going to draw another curved line down and leave it floating. Now I come over here to this circle and I draw a curved line inside and I just draw a straight line. I draw one, two dots. I draw a slightly curved line over Curve line out, in on the right, curve line out, in on the left. Come inside, draw one curve line down, leave it floating on the left, one curve line down, floating on the right. Come back up to this point, add another curve line, leave it floating. Now on the left we're going to draw one, two, three curve lines. Right here we're going to put a curve line up, down, connect. Right inside we draw one straight diagonal, 
curve line, one straight diagonal connect. We're going to draw a little curve line connect and we're just going to draw some wavy lines. Put a little, little curve line on the other side. Come right here at the center and we're going to go zigzag, zigzag up on the left, zigzag, zigzag up on the right, slightly curve line going down. All right, before I go any further, I want to box up some info. This happened in 1773, and I'm going to put a rectangle around it. It was caused because of the T Act, and I'm going to put a rectangle around that. And finally, it happened in Boston, it, Boston, Massachusetts, and it became known as the Boston Tea Party. And I'm going to put a rectangle around that. That's so I don't forget. Okay? Now I come back down here, and all of a sudden I'm going to draw a straight line, jump over, straight line, up, straight diagonal down, straight line over, keep going, keep going, straight diagonal up, connect. Inside, I'm just going to draw slightly straight lines across. Now, I can start adding all of these lines down to this part. Okay, so if you have lines floating, you can add them up right there. Let's connect that right there. Okay. Now, they're in rough waters. So it's wavy lines, wavy lines, wavy lines. And I think that's all. Okay. Let's color it in and then we'll talk about what we just drew. Okay. The tips of this face, I'm just going to color in black because they're feathers, okay? I'm coloring in the tips black. Next, I have multicultural crayons. I'm gonna color in this space, this space, this space, this space with my multicultural crayons. This space, this space, this space, this space, this space with my multicultural crayons. Put a little bit up at the top. Okay. Next, move over. This space, this space, this space, this space, all multicultural crayons. And like I said, we'll talk about all this in a minute. Whoops. And this space. You'll do a better job than me. Absolutely. Then I take a red crayon and I'm just going to draw little straight lines underneath my dots. Okay? Underneath my dots. I'm going to put some red. And on my teacup, I'm just going to put a little wavy line and on the handle. Okay? Next, I am going to take my yellow and I'm going to color in this space over here yellow. Okay, then I'm going to take regular brown and I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop this part right here. But then I'm going to take my black and loop-de-loop -loop over it. Okay. And because I need a pop of color down here, because it's going to be all brown if I don't, take my purple, just add a little bit of purple lines. Then I take my brown and loop-de-loop -loop over the top. Just so it's not all the same color. That's what happens when you do drawings like this. Everything turns out to be brown. We don't want everything brown. You bring in a little bit of accent of color on some objects where it doesn't make any difference. After I do that, I come back in 
with my brown and I loop-de-loop -loop all of this area brown. Now, you can always make adjustments to what we just drew. These are the basics. I'll leave it up to you to make your own artistic ideas. But the last thing I want to show is that we are in the ocean or in the water. Boston Harbor, I should say. So go ahead and add some blue. Now I was going to add a background and I thought, no, this is a historical drawing. Leave it alone. And uh, now we're ready to talk. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, when you draw a drawing like this, you're trying to visually interpret the Boston Tea Party. So the first thing I want to show is that all of the colonialists disguise themselves as Native Americans. So that's what this getup is right here. And this person is throwing over the side the tea and they dumped 392 or 342 chests of tea over the sides of the boats. Next, the whole thing was because of the tea act. So that's why we have the little tea cup there. And that was basically taxation without representation and that's money. It's always about money. And over here, this colonialist is dumping over not just tea, but also the crown of England. King of England. Okay. Bye-bye.